Oh, hello there. Welcome back everyone to the survival series. Hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to be becoming overpowered in our world and there are a couple things we need to do to get us there. First off, we need to make some star farms and then we got to gather up a ton of resources like diamonds and iron, build a nether portal and go to the nether. We also need to craft diamond tools and armor and then enchant it and then finally try not to die. We are on episode two of the series now and if we die, we lose two diamonds, which is more diamonds than we have at the moment. Before we get doing all that though, I have no food and I'm running very low on hunger. So let's get building some farms. Alright, so I have some cows and some sheep in a farm now, as well as some wheat starting to grow, and yeah, now we can start breeding up some cows, and we should start having a steady food source pretty quickly. And now that our food problem is pretty much taken care of, we can add it to the wall of items. So for those who didn't see last episode, we're starting the wall of items in our world, so... All you gotta do to be on the wall of items is comment down what item you want to be on the wall and then I'll name your name on an item and then place you on the wall. First off, the people that are gonna be on the wall today, we need to cook up a chicken. We need an iron ingot, one beetroot, and then I may get some of these names wrong, but Multi Minecraft wanted to be a cooked chicken. Kelvin wanted to be a iron ingot. And then Champ Axis wanted a, a beetroot for the beetroot gang. So we'll name it, we'll name it the beetroot gang but as we all can agree potatoes are definitely better we can put them all on the wall of items right here and yeah as you can tell we have one more spot because i have one more item i need for one more person but that item requires me to find a lush cave and to be honest this is probably good because i really need to go mining and so i guess to start off um this episode we're gonna go mining try and find a lush cave so let's grab some torches we should have enough, uh, food, hopefully. Yo, I was looking for a cave, and look at there's some f white, like, arctic foxes here. These guys are so cute. Hello. Oh my goodness. I, I wish I could, like, tame you or something. Dang. Th these guys are so cute. This cave down here looks like it goes deep, and I, I don't really know if there's a technique to finding a lush cave. I think it's just something that, like, randomly happens. So, I guess we can just go down here this drops pretty far what the heck this definitely looks like a cave where you would find a, a lush cave definitely so i'm gonna do some parkour quickly to get down here safely oh no okay we're running we're running let's look for a lush cave this definitely looks like a cave that would have uh some nice greenery in it and yeah we'll probably mine up a ton of ores as well as we look for one and maybe even find some more diamonds because that's pretty much the biggest thing we want to do this episode yo finally more diamonds let's go and it's more than one let's Oh my goodness, let's go. Okay, finally, we've we found more diamonds. See how many diamonds we got. So there's one, two, please be more than two. Oh my goodness, at least there's two, maybe three. Ah, uh, okay, two is still better than one though. That That is for sure, two is better than one. That brings us up to three diamonds total, which means we can finally make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. All right, so we have some more deep dark here. Hopefully there isn't a shrieker anywhere. Yeah, I don't think there's a shrieker, so we're good. Oh, oh wow. Yes, I think there's some lush cave there. Yes, okay, we finally found it. Oh, there's a lot of uh, skull here as well. I gotta be careful. This is a huge cave actually as well, which is really cool. There's more deep dark down there. That's definitely a location for an ancient city. We're like right beneath a uh, big mountain. I'm not- I'm probably not going down there right now because we have found a lush cave. 
or at least parts of a lush cave okay yes we found one and now there's one certain th oh there's a lot of mobs here but there's one certain thing i need from this cave Ooh, emerald that's not something you see every day we might as well uh take some of this moss as well because that like this would always be good as well as some of the trees it's not what we need though yes that this is what we're looking for wait there's baby axolotls in this game they're so cute oh how did what i never knew there were baby axolotls so we found what we're looking for there's a lot of them though they're, they're trying to run away from me where we need a bucket of axolotl though i actually i really want oh there's more of them here Okay, we're taking the baby. Baby, get in the get, get in the bucket. All right, let's just grab another one just because we can. We got two axolotls in a bucket now. Bucket of baby gold axolotl. That's so cool. Buck bucket of adult lu luca. What does that even say? Uh, axolotl. That's so cool. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, so I think all the stuff uh, I came here for, we got. Uh, we can grab a little bit more ores, but I'm running very, very low on food right now. I've been down here mining for like half an hour. We have a good amount of resources though, which is nice. Another like stack and a half of iron, all, not bad at all. And I have no clue how to get out of here, so I guess we'll just start building up. And just like that, we're greeted by some skeletons. Nice. Oh no. Okay, there's actually a lot of mobs. I am running. And there you go. Subspace bubble for the bucket of axolotl. You'll get to be the little baby gold uh, axolotl. It kind of suits your name, to be honest. Again, if you do want to be on the wall of items, comment down below what item you want to be. And I'll pick a couple each episode uh, to put on the wall. And yeah, that was actually pretty successful. We got two diamonds, an emerald, a ton of iron we got another little axolotl and yeah we can start smelting up some of this iron and yeah that was actually very successful all right so if we want to start enchanting this episode and getting overpowered we need two things mostly first obviously diamonds so we're gonna go and mine a lot of diamonds but also an actual enchanting station and we have enough diamonds for a diamond pickaxe now so mining obsidian won't be that bad but getting the books around it will be a little bit more difficult we have some cows growing for leather but we will also need if do we even have any sugarcane in here we don't even have any sugarcane nice so we're gonna need a sugarcane farm hopefully there's some sugarcane somewhere around here oh there is right there nice uh it's it's just three nice okay i think i'm gonna have to go look for some more It always amazes me how the Minecraft pirates were able to shipwreck their boat in the middle of land. Like, what is this? But I guess this means we can find another buried treasure. Oh, that's a nice amount of iron. And hopefully, yeah, right here is... Oh, is there no tr uh, treasure chest? Oh, I guess there was. There was just three chests in this ship. Okay, yes, we got a treasure map. Let's go. Oh, okay. It's actually very close. Like, right here. And if we use the tactic... Uh, from what we learned last episode, it should be right below me. But when I say that, I could be very much wrong. No! Oh my goodness, first try. We're, we're too good, guys. Okay, the moment of truth, though. Is it a good chest? All of my chests in this series have been horrible. Is it a good chest? Ooh, that's better. We got two music discs. We got Mellow High and Wait. Those aren't bad music discs. We got a ton of leads. No diamonds, unfortunately, but that's still pretty good. All right, so we're home with about 30 sugarcane, which isn't bad. This is definitely going to be a good start for a farm. And there we have it. A pretty nice start to our sugarcane farm. And now I think it is time to get ourselves a good amount of diamonds. Let's get a ton of food. Make ourselves some new armor pieces because our old ones are not looking the greatest. As well as our tools. Our tools are not looking very good either. This cave right here, you can already see some emeralds. This cave look, looks pretty good for mining. Oh no! Oh! No way. Those emeralds almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take a, a slow time getting down here. I, I really... <laughs> Dude, we have like three diamonds right now. I cannot be losing two of them. But also, do you think I could make that? <laughs> let's just, let's just go for it. Ugh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. This cave looks more like it's just going up. But as we explore more, I think we could definitely find 
Uh, some ways... No, th th this cave really just goes upwards, doesn't it? All right, this looks a lot more promising. And yeah, without further ado, let's get finding some diamonds. Oh. I didn't think it would be that quick. And it is one again. Nice. Let's go. We got a we got a skeleton spawner. Yo, this is very good. It is so low down. Like we're at negative. Oh, and some more diamonds. We're at negative forty right now. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Good thing we got a backup one. Oh, this one actually has diamonds as well. Let's go. I don't actually know yet if we are gonna need an experience farm, but uh, yeah, this will definitely be good to have if we need it. Also, we barely got anything good from that uh, those chests. Yo, wait, another spawner? Okay, dude. Anything- nothing good. We got another mu 13 music disc. We got the cat music disc. Let's go. The, I, I- other than like the new other side in pig step, this is probably one of the best OG music discs. All right, so I've had to come back out of the mines to get some more food, but after about like 20 minutes of mining, I've gotten eight diamonds, which isn't bad. I know like since the caves and cliffs update, like just mining in caves isn't the best way to find diamonds. Strip mining is better. Uh, but 8 diamonds in 20 minutes isn't that bad. That brings our total of diamonds up to 11 diamonds. We are actually going to take 3 of them and make a diamond pickaxe. Uh, I saw a ton of obsidian and lava pools down in the, uh, like when we were mining. So I, I we're going to go get some obsidian when we go back down to mine a little bit more. I think we'll try and get at least 20 diamonds to make a good set of like diamond armor and maybe like a sword and a... Uh, I guess we already have a pickaxe, so we don't need to make another one. And we're at 8 right now, so we need about 12 more. So I'm gonna go get some more food. Uh, go back down there, get some uh, maybe like 15 obsidian as well. And just go mining for some more diamonds. Alright, so after about another half an hour of mining, we've, I got another 8 diamonds. Which brings us up to 16 diamonds in total, which isn't quite enough. Uh, for uh, everything we need, but we can start uh, crafting some things up. And the first thing we need to craft up is an enchanting table and get an enchantment like room set up. So we can grab some diamonds. I mined up a ton of obsidian. We can also probably make another portal soon. We have 16 obsidian left over. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a book around here. Yeah, we have 16 books already, so we can take one of those. And we can craft up an enchantment table. Now I'm thinking we could probably just put the enchantment table or r around here. I'm gonna make like a, a house for it. But first we should probably get all the bookshelves we need. Uh, so let's grab up the leather we have. I also have a bunch of bone meal from... Uh, a ho I killed a whole bunch of skeletons while caving. So if we bone meal the sugar cane, we can get a ton of sugar cane. And a stack of sugarcane should be enough. Let's craft up a stack of paper, and that's 12 books, and that's 9 bookshelves, which is kind of almost enough. And so I guess we can just start placing bookshelves. I need to remember how to do this. Okay, so I think we need about 6 more books. What level is this? Yeah, this is level 18. We, we still need a couple more bookshelves. Yes, okay, that is just the right amount of bookshelves. We have level 30 as you can see. This unevenness though is gonna really annoy me, so I'm gonna go get another bookshelf real quick. And there we have it, our entire enchantment table finished. And now I'm just gonna quickly uh, make this look good. I'm gonna make like a little house around it, I think. I think that would make it look pretty good. And just like that, our little enchantment shack is complete. And we're actually one level away from being able to enchant. We're at level, almost level 29 right now. And instead of like killing uh, mobs to get this one level, I think we're gonna go to the nether and actually mine up some quartz. We have to go to the nether sometime, so I guess uh, that time is gonna be now. It's a little scary. The nether, especially in hard mode, is not the easiest. Uh, but hopefully we get like a good spawn and oh that's annoying but yeah hopefully we get a good spawn that doesn't kill us like immediately <laughs> and we can we can probably just put our portal right here i think would be good and let's light the portal there it is and hopefully let's hope we have a okay spawn and don't die oh okay this isn't looking the worst 
I do dislike how we're uh, in a Soul Sand Valley, but I guess that's fine as I see a gas and multiple skeletons. It's fine. No, never mind. It really is not fine. Let's just hide over here for a second. All right. So as I said, oh crap. Yeah, the, these skeletons are gonna. Oh, there's a lot of them as well. Yeah, the Soul Sand Valley probably isn't the best place to spawn into. That's so annoying. We're gonna have to be really sneaky. I really don't want to be losing two diamonds this episode. All right, there's some more quartz over here, and this should be, if there's a lot of it, this should be the last quartz I need to mine. Oh, we're so close. Okay, we just need, there's so many skeletons down there, but we just need a little bit more quartz. <laughs> what the heck? There's so many skeletons here. Oh my goodness. And just like this, we are at level 30. Awesome, just enough for level 30. And let's run back to the portal. Skeleton, no, you, you can't stop me, skeleton. We've, oh wow, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna block myself in. We've made it back to the portal. And we're back. What? Why did it spawn another nether portal? What? Why is, huh? Okay, I don't have a diamond pickaxe, so I guess, I guess we'll come back for that and figure out how to connect our portals afterwards. That's so weird. But we are home, so let's grab our diamond pickaxe and some lapis. I really want to enchant our diamond pickaxe first so we can get like fortune 3 and efficiency uh, to be able to mine the rest of our diamonds very, uh, like a lot quicker. So let's see. We got a breaking 3. Oh, I don't know if I should go for this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're just gonna see. I did it, and it's just Unbreaking 3. Wow, that is pretty unfortunate. <laughs> unbreaking is like the one enchant that I really don't need right at the start. But, uh, I, yeah, I guess it's fine. Um, we can probably just put the grindstone right here, uh, and then unenchant it like that. And then, what's the next enchant? Silk Touch? That's, no, we need Fortune. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna go back into the nether, hopefully don't die, and get like, probably like 31 to 33 levels. Uh, <laughs> I was mining some quartz and I found an ancient uh, debris. Nice. I'm gonna remember this for when I have my diamond pickaxe. And we're back at the portal with 32 levels. Dude, it's so nerve-wracking, like, going through a soul sand valley with only iron armor. Oh my goodness. We're out alive, though. And that means we can enchant, like, two times at level one before, like, to try and get, like, fortune three on the pickaxe. So we don't want silk touch. That's the opposite of fortune. So we can just do efficiency one. Next. Oh, efficiency four. Oh, I don't know if I should go for it. Oh, no. I, mm, I'm going. I, I think I'm gonna go. Dude, this is so nerve-wracking. I'm going for it. I should not have gone for it. Okay. We are once again back up to level 30, so it's on breaking three. I'm just gonna try it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Th I'm so glad I took that chance. We got a breaking three, fortune three, efficiency four. That's the best pickaxe you can get from an enchantment table. After like three tries enchanting, we finally got it. Let's go. And now that we have a, an incredible pickaxe, I think I'm gonna breed up some more cows for a little bit. And like, I, I got a whole bunch of bone meal from bone blocks in the soul sand valley that's like one of the only good things about the soul sand valley is that it gives you bone blocks that you can collect uh so yeah um i'll be breeding up some cows for a ton of food and then we're actually gonna go and use our pickaxe to mine it's gonna be awesome we're gonna get a ton more diamonds now i'm so glad we got these enchantments all right so it's been a little bit of time and as you can tell we have a lot of cows now i also extended the farm to have potatoes now as well and i think that's what we're gonna use as our food source for the time being while waiting for all the crops to grow i also linked up the nether portal so it wouldn't uh spawn us like in the middle of the water here if we come into the nether as you can see it's not completely done but i had to uh, move it a little bit and now we have some sort of a hub uh, it's still pretty dangerous, but it's a little better than just having the nether portal sitting right here over like a lava lake. We, we have like a little nether hub here. I also grabbed a little bit more quartz and we're actually back up to level 30. And if we check the enchantment uh, table and like take off some boots. As you can tell, this gives us protection 4. And that is a pretty good enchant. Even if we only got protection 4 on diamond boots, that would still be very good. Like if we check our sword, it has Bane of Arthropods. Like who, who's ever going to need that? So I think what 
I'm gonna do is actually spend four of these diamonds to make some diamond boots. And let's enchant them because we have the levels. Why not, right? Even if it's only protection four, that's still pretty good. But if we get thorns, oh, death strider, and I'm breaking three. That is actually very good. So yeah, there's our first little bit of overpowered armor. But as you can tell, we only have 10 diamonds right now. So we can't even like finish a full set of diamond armor. So I think before we start enchanting all of our stuff we should actually get diamonds so that we can enchant and we have a ton of food now as well as an incredible pickaxe so i guess we can just find a cave and let's get mining And after about an hour of mining, we're finally out of the caves and it's nighttime. Nice. And coming back to our house, we have 33 levels, a ton of resources, and just a little under two stacks of diamond. I'd say that is a very successful mining trip. And yeah, overall, I almost died a couple of times. Like, it was very close a couple of times while caving. But yeah, we, we got a ton of resources. And we're fully over two stacks of diamonds with all the diamonds we have. We have two stacks and nine diamonds, which means now we can take these diamond boots. And then we can craft the remaining parts of the armor we need. So chest plate, pants, helmet... Uh, and then we'll, I guess we'll take a diamond sword and we can craft a bow as well. Those are pretty much the most necessary things we need. Um, we have the diamonds, so I guess we can take an axe as well. And we're left with still over a stack and a half of diamonds. <laughs> And I guess let's start enchanting. Alright, so none of these are very good enchants. Like, Protection 3 really isn't the greatest. So I think I'm gonna actually get another level from just killing these cows really quickly. And then we're at level 34. So what we can do is just enchant something to level 1 like that. And then unenchant it. And then let's see what we have now. Oh, Protection 4. I think that's what we'll go for. Oh, what is this? Yeah, no, Protection 4 on a chest plate. Anything else? And breaking three, that's a very good diamond chest plate. We still have 30 levels though, so let's see if we have anything. Oh, on breaking three, I don't, should I go for it? Yeah, I think I'm breaking three on a sword could give us, I think like sharpness four and looting three are the biggest things we want on a sword. And this could give it to us. No, it, it's really just on breaking three, nice. I think before we end off this episode, I want at least all of my armor enchanted as well as my sword. And if we can get a bow enchanted, that would be nice as well. To just become incredibly OP. So what I'm going to do is actually put on our diamond armor because like we have half enchanted so far. And then we, we will be unkillable in the nether or hopefully at least. Ready, 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 ready. This is going to hit. This is going to hit. Let's go. All right, so I haven't really explored this way much to get quartz, so I think we'll go over here and grab a ton of quartz, like, over there. These skeletons, they, they don't- Look at these these skeletons don't even do damage to me anymore. We're, we're completely fine. All right, and we're back with 34 levels, so let's see what we can enchant. Fire Aspect 2 and Smite 4. That's not very good. Unbreaking 3 and Bane of Arthropods. That's also not very good. And Smite 4. Wow. Oh, protection four. Yes, yes. Just protection four. That's still pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. Wait a minute. You're not a cow. Oh, no. There's a lot of... Wait, there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, protection four. Just protection four. Not bad. Not the best, though. We could have had, like, a respiration or something. But protection four is still pretty good on all pieces of armor. All right, so I'm back over to the place where I was mining quartz, like, at the start of the episode. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we found this ancient debris. And now that I have a really fast pickaxe, we can mine it up and get our first piece of ancient debris just like that oh there's another one as well let's go 
Oh, looting three. Okay. Um. Oh, it's just looting three. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to make another sword then because loot. I really need sharpness four as well. Uh, looting is such a good enchant, but like it didn't give me anything else. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to craft up another sword. Yo, we got a bastion. We found it. Let's go. We've just been finding everything this episode. Wow. Okay. Uh, this isn't very far from spawn either. All right, our first chest, and wow, this this is oh wow, this is like very useless. Next chest, <gasps> let's go. We got it. I that this is so hard to find. Uh, we got it in our second chest, a block of iron as well. No way, we got it. We got pig step. Oh my goodness, this is like one of my favorite music discs in Minecraft. Oh, and now there's a Enderman mad at me, nice. And we're back at the portal safely, probably for the last time we have to go out and collect quartz for this episode. Our inventory is a complete mess right now, but if we come over to our uh, enchanting shack... Oh yes, we got sharpness four, let's go, and I'm breaking three, that's not bad. And we have 30 levels left over, and we have a bow with unbreaking three let's just yeah let's just enchant it because why oh okay i yeah i'm very glad i enchanted that that's a very good bow we just need to add a little more power to that so we can put together our two swords to make looting three sharpness for unbreaking three that is a pretty good sword we have pretty much any enchant you'd ever could think of on a bow which is awesome and we have full prop four armor with some unbreaking and depth strider on the boots why hello again mr creeper <laughs> creepers must love this location like what and i actually think that's probably gonna be the end of this episode we got a lot accomplished we added to the wall of items made a lot of very good farms which are actually going to be very helpful in the next episode as well as in a little enchantment shack which i i really like this i really like the design and of course the most important thing pig step and as the sun sets on episode two that's going to be the end Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did all enjoy. Next episode, we're going to be uh, working with this village to get some OP loot. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. If you did enjoy this episode and are enjoying the series so far, make sure to like and subscribe. We're very, very close to 20k subs. And yeah, other than that, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day. And goodbye.